Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for June 3rd of 2024 is titled NGC 2403 in Camelopardalis. So what do we see here? Well, here in the constellation of the giraffe, we look out and see a distant galaxy. And it is known by its catalog designation of NGC 2403. And that is an example of a spiral galaxy. And we can see the distinct spiral structure to the galaxy as spiral arms swirling outward from the center. Now as we look around the arms we see that they're dominated by two different colors. We see a distinct blue as well as a pinkish color. Now the blue color is caused by the light of many very massive stars that form within those spiral arms. Those massive stars don't live for a very long time, but while they do, they emit a lot of high energy light. And that means a lot of ultraviolet light, which we then see at the primary visible color they emit as blue. So we tend to see them as very blue and that gives the blue spiral arms a distinct blue coloration. However, we also see a lot of pink there. Now the pink isn't related immediately to stars, but is actually hydrogen gas. And hydrogen gas when excited by ultraviolet radiation, remember, we just said that ultraviolet radiation is being produced by these hot stars. When that happens, the hydrogen gas gets ionized, that means the electron gets ripped off of it. And when it recombines, it gives off a very specific wavelength of light in the red part of the spectrum. And we see that as the distinct blue color here of what is called an H2 region or an ionized hydrogen region. And that is an area where a lot of the hydrogen has had its electrons ripped off. And as they combine recombine, we see that distinct pink color that comes out. Now we also see a number of a uh, few other things around here. We of course we see stars are in our own galaxy. So those bright stars are within our galaxy and are actually probably relatively faint stars by comparison to the stars you're used to looking at at night. We also can see some of the dust clouds within our galaxy and these are very thin wispy dust clouds compared to the thicker ones we see in the disk and they're actually called a galactic cirrus related uh, similar to cirrus clouds in Earth's atmosphere which are very thin clouds up high in the atmosphere. And these although formed by completely different processes have that similar appearance of a very thin wispy cloud off in the distance there. So often called the galactic cirrus clouds that we see but they're really dust clouds and not all that different than the dust clouds we get closer to the plane of the galaxy just a lot less dense as you know we can see things through these whereas when we get enough gas enough dust together then it, it completely blocks out light from behind it. So we can see those but some of it we can also see some of the material seems to be streaming away from this galaxy. So while some of it is associated with our own galaxy, other seems to be associated with NGC 2403. And that is likely tidal interactions that occur where material is being pulled out of the galaxy by interactions with another galaxy and other neighboring galaxies that are not seen within this image. So that was our picture of the day for June 3rd of 2024. It was titled NGC 2403 in Camelopardalis. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.